Hello everybody, welcome back to another reading. Today we're taking a look at the NSC shootings, which happened in September 2012. Uh, Iraqi-born Saad al-Hili, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, was on holiday with his family, his wife, two children, and their mother-in-law. Uh, they were driving around the area and stopped to talk with two cyclists when they were suddenly attacked by a gunman. They suspect a lone gunman. I heard somewhere that they may have come out of the forest that they were parked nearby. Not really sure. Uh, to this date, we have no idea who this is. Uh, the gunman shot the cyclist who probably tried to get away and the family uh, basically got back in their car and I believe the father was trying to back out of there in an attempt to leave. But they were all shot uh, pretty much through the windshield from the outside. So the gunman never actually entered the vehicle. One of the daughters was found outside of the car, so potentially they were so caught off guard that everybody who was near the car just got in the car and tried to get away and for whatever reason the little girl didn't make it. They were shot in the shoulder and were bludgeoned in the head a few times. Uh, it is believed that the gunman thought that she had actually died as a result of that, but she ended up surviving. Another survivor is the youngest daughter who hid under her mother's body for about eight hours. It took until then uh, that they actually figured out that she was even there because nobody even knew she was there. That's how she kept herself hidden. And that must have been extremely terrifying. So to this date, we have uh, no real suspects. There are several people that are being considered. A certain person as well who has been known to be active in the area, but there's no real proof. So I was hoping we could take a look at that situation through the tarot. We're going to do that today. We're going to start off with the Botticelli deck, which is this one. I wanted to get one of those. And after having more questions afterwards, we're going to move on to the Urban Tarot, which is this one. So, as per usual, uh, I'm going to tour the reader. I'll just tell you what the cards say to me, and if you see something else in the cards, be sure to put that in the comment section below so we can get more of an exchange here. I'm just going to start shuffling the deck, and when I have enough cards here to show you, I'll uh, stop and we can take a look together. So, let's get started. Okay, we've got quite a lot of cards here. Let's take a look. We have here the world next to the Three of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles, which is interesting. I'll grab that next because first I want to take a look at these two. So we have here Three Cups is usually like a harmony, friends group, people that you're close to, acquaintances, uh, spending time with them, etc. and the world. I do feel like that's more of like a public, I always tend to feel like that's you being in a public eye, just kind of like the star, but then this is more of a people are focusing on you, but it could also reference to the fact that they were on holiday and they were just out there in the world feeling like the world was their oyster, etc. and they were just out and about together, feeling pretty good about that. And next to them, we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. The knight is reversed, and that seems to me like in careful spending habits, uh, careless financial decisions, that type of thing. Even though the nine of uh, pentacles suggests that they felt, I would say, independently wealthy, independently well off, perhaps. Like these four together, I know that they said, at least some people said, that taking their kids on holiday so shortly before the school season started was unusual. Also, there were papers found in the camper van that I feel that they had, that they said that he had, that looked like he had like his portfolio on him. I can't get the card right, hang on. What I'm trying to get at is that it seems like if you look at these four cards together, it's almost like they feel like starting over somewhere else. And even though it might seem a bit uh, sudden they are they feel like they're well equipped enough because of the nine of Pentacles that they can actually strike out for themselves somehow so 
that's what these four cards seem to say. Like, he decided to take the kids, take the money, and the family, obviously. Three of Cups here. Uh, and just strike out in the world and see where everything would land if they just went ahead and uh, tossed everything into the air, so to speak. Um, then we have the Knight of Swords next to the Five of Swords and Judgment. So this is, I think, the result of the reverse Knight of Pentacles over there. Knight of Swords, in this case, strikes me as somebody who is just kind of talking, bragging, maybe even, because it is next to the reverse Knight over there. Like, he made a certain decision that other people might not find very wise, and now he's just standing there talking about how it's actually such a great idea. You know, sometimes you buy something and it's not quite the same situation, obviously, but just to explain what I mean. Uh, you buy something and at the time it was kind of an impulse buy but then when people like ask you like why did you buy that you go ahead and give them this lengthy explanation about why it makes sense that you bought it that's kind of the energy that i'm getting over here like he makes a decision that's some people would consider that not wise but he really felt uh, he needed to defend that so he probably told a few people about what he was doing and uh, that perhaps did not lead to um, very good uh, situations and I'm not even really referencing that day, but just before that, people may have been coming for him saying, are you sure you want to do this? Is this such a good idea? Because the see here, the Five of Swords in reverse, it's like a verbal jousting. And I think that certain people actually got to him with that verbal jousting because it's reversed. And I tend to read reversed cards uh, as an internal process. Like maybe he was still struggling with it, even though towards the outside world, he was uh, fully on board with his decision. We also see here judgment, so perhaps he felt judged, or perhaps he felt, I can, I'm getting an impression of um, he would be his own judge, or he decided, he would decide for himself ultimately what was going to happen next. So I'm getting a bit of a freedom thing here, like maybe he felt trapped or just needed to get out of the way. And he went ahead and brought everybody along, and even though people were coming for him over this decision, he stuck with it. And even though he felt judged, it was his decision, so his own judgment mattered more. Uh, we have the Two of Swords here, though, still being of two minds. We have the Four of Wands. That is a Harmony card. So regardless of the uh, situation at home, back home, if that was still considered home, he did feel like he was having a great time there because you have the harmony of the house and home there with the Four of Wands. So perhaps it is the family did actually agree with his decision and they went along with it. We see here the Four of Cups. That seems like a, uh, being unable to make a choice, like having so many things that you could do, you're not really sure what you want to do next. It's a little bit of a stillmate. Type of thing and not really liking your options too much we have the reverse two of wands which i read as being kind of stuck uh like you want to move forward but you can't quite make it there so so far what i'm seeing is mostly uh the reason why they were there in the first place that's what's coming up let's see if we can find anything about after that we have the sun so this is the hope for the future we have the two of cups here so that's like almost a lover's card and I think that in the relationship wise, the family, everything was looking good. So I don't feel like anybody that was there uh, of his family were uh, upset with the fact that they were there. They were all on board with that. And I believe they were looking forward to a new future. But then we got the Knave of Chalices here, the uh, Page of Cups next to the Ten of Wands. This is kind of an unpleasant surprise here. And then we have quite the burden to bear over there with the Ten of Wands. As you can look down there, he is looking very exhausted. So I feel like even though he felt like it was going to be a break, uh, things turned out to be a lot tougher than perhaps he thought. So, so far we're not really seeing anything about the gunman, but we're not done yet. We have another whole deck to uh, take a look at that situation. So far we're seeing Basically just Saad and his family and the reason why they're out there. Now, the gunman. 
Although I'm looking at the Knight of Pentacles here and these two, these two knights right here are kind of drawing my attention. I feel like whoever he may have been talking to about his decisions saw this Nine of Cups fortune as like, I might be able to do something with that. As in, uh, thank you for bringing all your money, I'll take that um, and do whatever I want with it. I feel like that drew somebody's attention. And either that is the gunman himself or somebody who knew them. I think somebody talked. I'm getting the impression like he may have been at a cafe or something along those lines where he talked up a storm and perhaps let some things slip and somebody overheard. That's the type of energy that I'm getting from these two and that's the type of stuff that's popping into my mind right now. So that's interesting now let's see if we can get anything from the perspective of the gunman like who is that do they have a connection we'll worry about where they are now later but first i want to see if we can get anything about the gunman himself and his connection to the situation ace of swords reverse and once again, these swords are the communication. I feel like uh, this actually further points towards that scenario that he may have overheard something like that. And if you look at the card up right, you can see that the swords coming down from the heavens. That actually looks like the Arc de Triomphe, doesn't it? Let me take a look at that again. Not really sure, but it looks like it. And it looks like the sword is cutting through a crown here at the bottom. And I feel like this reversed kind of seems like this person was there or picked something up. And was like, oh, you got like a lot of money or the crown? Well, I think I've got uh, just the sword for you and I'll figure out where you are. I'll meet you halfway, so to speak. That type of thing is the vibe that I'm getting from this Ace of Swords. Oh, what else can we get? Knight of Cups reversed. Alright, so that's definitely like uh, I'm getting the vibe of this person was very unhappy in their own situation. If you, if you look at the card as well, you can see this is a barbecue and there's like a happy family back there barbecuing up some hot dogs and stuff like that. And I feel like uh, this person this is almost like their perspective, but from a little further away, like whoever took this photo, if this were a photo, was not part of the action in the back there. He was just kind of there. Notice the uh, cups over here, maybe drawn in by the smell of the food and the drink and thought maybe he could be a part of that, but ultimately that did not work out. I feel like this is somebody who's kind of loner type. It's a... Uh, they don't feel included and maybe they were kind of jealous of how happy saw it was and therefore didn't feel like it was a big deal to try and take the money i don't know Oop. we've got the five of pentacles so this person might have had some financial issues that they needed to deal with yeah so far we're getting this impression of somebody who overheard something uh that may have been the answer to his problems over here and he was like okay well you guys got plenty, I can take some of yours. So uh, he didn't feel too bad about taking these steps to go after the family because he felt like he kind of needed that, maybe even deserved it somehow. Oh. These guys are pushed out to the side. Let me just correct that. We have the this says the Aeon. I'm going to take a look what that is. I think it's the world, but um, it's 20, which is Judgment again. We have Judgment down here. So that's how I noticed real quick that this is indeed Judgment. They should all have the same numbers. Okay, so that's interesting because we already had Judgment here. And like I said earlier, the whole situation with uh, them being maybe being overheard was around these two knights. And we see Judgment over here. So basically we're picking up on his story over here with this Judgment card. So this moment of, you can almost see them sitting there like Saad over there sitting there talking to whoever random strangers about the money that he's got and what he's planning to do with it. And then a few tables away you got this guy sitting here and he's judging him from afar. That's why they also had Judgment over there. 
they may have had some type of interaction perhaps uh, some quick exchange it may not have been very much it could just have been of a uh, two or three words uh, from this guy towards Saad uh, saying okay well you got it so easy and uh, some people really need to work for their money blah, blah blah that type of thing like a jealousy type of thing almost and we have here the Emperor in reverse so this might be somebody who either is influenced by somebody or close to somebody who is influential or they may have been influential themselves or they have an issue with the powers that be I think that's most likely the latter one like they may have already been in touch with the uh, legal system for instance that's kind of what the seal seems to represent and um, they are uh, kind of on the outside of society I wouldn't say and that's why they have this first emperor so their brushes with uh, any type of institution in the past that normally people would obey have probably led them to be uh, less likely to obey in general then we have here the queen of swords also known as the painter uh, so this queen of swords I'm not really sure who this could be this could be somebody who is in his life and who tends to I guess he tends to talk things over with them perhaps like maybe the decision to go after Saad and his family didn't come right away because now we're looking at judging them because they have their own concerns and they feel like this person is kind of like uh, he's got an easy time of it and he has all this family that this perpetrator person does not have and then the Emperor over here leads them to be more likely to uh, leave the uh, correct path of society so to speak and then we have here this Queen of Swords that I feel is somebody that he may have talked to afterwards and they were like no you know you're okay in thinking that uh, it's okay to grab something if uh, if you don't have anything of your own and you need something like that like I don't think that this person actually told them they should go out and do what they did but more like making it okay in his mind like somehow justifying it before the action I mean not during or after let's see um, like almost like a Robin Hood vibe is what I'm getting in that sense from her anyway at least the King of Swords could be Queen, Queen of Swords sorry could be that it's a male with feminine energy I don't know but it's a Queen of Swords type person very logical kind of distant good with words and also imaginative because I did choose the painter for the Queen of Swords in this deck so it's somebody who can take a step back and really rationalize things for themselves and envision things and I keep coming back to this x-ray over here with the five of pentacles like I feel like either the person themselves or someone close to them has issues that they need a lot of money for and they couldn't quite get that money so they kind of rationalize it over here like okay yeah this guy doesn't really need all that money look at how much money he's got this guy went to the Swiss bank for Christ's sake nobody does that if they don't have serious amounts of money so if he could get our hands on some of that uh, our problems would be solved and he wouldn't uh, need to worry too much because he can still go back to his expensive house back in the UK that type of reasoning is what I'm uh, thinking came from this Queen of Swords let's see if you can find anything about the guy himself the Knight of Swords is back but in this case it's him so the Knight of Swords that we saw over here could have been them the two Knights over here talking so this might have been the confrontation and in this case I believe it's negative self-talk in the sense of keeping himself in this mindset where it's okay to do what he did or was planning to do Okie dokie, four cards came out. We've got Ace of Wands, so this is definitely an uh, active type of thing, like a uh, decision has been made, I'm going to take this course of action. So after the Knight of Swords energy kind of uh, came up, he decided to go into action. It just looks like afterwards he did actually go to jail. If you take the image almost literally 
sorry, this is a ten of wands. But if you take the image literally, then it is definitely uh, somebody being imprisoned after this ace of wands over here, this initiative that they took. So perhaps they're already in jail, but then probably for some, well, obviously for something else, because nobody was ever arrested. Uh, they went to jail, or at the very least, got very much burdened by it. The card is called Oppression, and this could mean, once again, that he felt oppressed in general, that he felt like he had uh, ownership of that money because he really needed being oppressed, or really this is the aftermath that he felt oppressed by his deeds, because, of course, he did try to bludgeon a small child to death, and that does not... Well, most people don't walk away from that feeling perfectly okay, so it could be a reference to that. And then we have here the Seven of Cups. So even though they didn't feel too great about it afterwards, they did definitely go ahead and have a spending spree, what this looks like. It says the debauchery down here as well. Normally this is more of a uh, if wishes were horses type of thing, but it seems like I think they spent uh, whatever money they could have gotten on uh, if they ever even got any money. I don't know if they were actually robbed. Maybe they were paid for it by somebody else. I'm not really sure. We don't really see anything about that. But in any case, they got a new windfall and they went ahead and did a whole bunch of stuff that they would normally not be able to do, it seems like. And then lastly, we have a Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This looks like an elderly woman. And the first time that I looked at the card just now, that is, I felt like this was the mother or some type of aging relative who was supposed to be helped by this. And since it's in reverse, I feel like they did not appreciate this or perhaps they don't even really want to know. Like, I feel like this is a type of situation where this person showed up with these new resources and couldn't explain where they came from. And this person over here uh, was like, um, if you can't tell me how you got it, I don't want it, that type of thing. That's what I'm getting over here. So don't think that they managed to do everything that they thought that they could with the money. Let's see if we can find anything about them today. Like, are they going to get caught? What are they doing? That type of thing. Let's see what we get. Oop, that's way too much. Gonna reshuffle that, but over here we have the hangman, so they're laying low. Perhaps they have actually gained some new insights ever since the whole thing took place. I wouldn't say that this card necessarily says that they're remorseful, but it's more like uh, maybe I should have done this or maybe I should have done that. In any case, I'm laying low, I'm not doing anything. Uh, nobody look at me because I'm not interesting right now. What else do we need from this stack? Is that one and those two okay this is the ten of swords okay so they're not, definitely not feeling great about all this uh i don't know if it's directly related to the event but in any case ten of swords is very downtrodden energy feeling very much put upon uh, very melodramatic as well, so he's probably really going through the works. And what do we have here? Seven of Cups is still here. They had the Seven of Cups over here already, so... But since there's no super wealthy imagery this time, and there's this blue angel uh, coming down towards this other person down there, I feel this is more the Seven of Cups side of uh, there are so many other things that I want to do, but I can't yet. So even though before they thought that doing this would give them the resources that they felt that they needed, uh, they either spent it unwisely or they have so many wishes or ideas that they want to uh, make come true that they actually couldn't get everything done. We have three of cups, a three of cups, three of uh, pentacles here, which is a work-related thing. So they're definitely uh, get back to work, I guess, because that's usually it. Or they have a project that they're working on right now. So I feel like that does mean that they are not in jail currently, because otherwise they wouldn't be out there having all these partnerships. I wouldn't think. 
and we have the uh, page of pentacles in reverse so this is somebody who's not great with their money uh, i do feel like uh, particularly this lineup over here is like okay uh looking at a new perspective uh, kind of not out there right now trying try to keep low stay low uh, feeling pretty much oppressed I still have a lot of things that they want to get done but even though they're working on things their financial uh, judgment and investments are not really panning out either so if this is somebody who got paid to do this then they definitely didn't spend that money wisely and whatever profit they thought that it could make ended up not coming through So will they ever get caught? Let's see, you can get like one or two cards about that. There's the first one. The Princess of Swords, or rather the uh, Page of Swords, I believe, in this deck. So that's kind of similar to the Knight of Swords, but less mature. And since the question was if they will be apprehended, I feel like this reversed uh, Princess of Sword or Page of Swords, however you like to say that, is uh, signifying that they will run their mouth at some point. And somebody will probably pick that up. One more card, and then I think we're done here. Is he gonna get caught? That one. The High Priestess. So that's uh, somebody who is able to meditate and see beyond the veil. I kind of get the impression, even though the picture doesn't look anything like it, that this is somebody who is going to end up spending some time on this case. I'm thinking law enforcement or somebody connected to that. And they're going to eventually piece things together because they're able to, I guess, get into the details things that other people might not see and i think they're going to be instrumental in bringing this person to justice and will they be successful there goes the card five of wands so that's like a struggle uh, i think they're definitely going to if they don't apprehend them, then they're gonna come very close. It's kind of like a cat and mouse game almost. And mostly Five of Wands is like a friendly competition type of thing. Like you can see them arm wrestling down there. So I'm getting the impression that this High Priestess over here is going to be so interested in this case that they're gonna keep trying and keep going at it until they've got their resolution because uh, the arm wrestling can't go on forever. Eventually somebody wins or loses. And with the energy and the vibe that I'm getting from this card uh, next to the High Priestess as well, is that they're going to keep trying, kind of like Columbo. I don't know if you guys ever saw that series. It's an older series, I think from the 80s or something, 80s or 90s. And they would just keep going back to certain things, keep going interviewing people until they got exactly what they wanted. And then they would wrap up the case. That's what I'm getting for these two cards. So this looks like a completely different person who's going to go and look things up and just dig around and i think the princess of source here is kind of like that same type of energy the person that columbo would be trying to hound eventually they're going to slip up and say something that the high priest is going to then consider and then go back at them with until they've got the result that they're looking for so that's what I'm seeing in the cards. I hope you found that interesting. In any case, make sure to leave a like. If you want me to do a reading on something, put that in the comment section below. I'll add it to the list and we'll get to that eventually. Uh, make sure to stay healthy, stay safe. Thanks for watching and bye-bye for now.